we um, did get to see the nuns of Karen de la Condes in the end. Um, I'll tell you what, we, what happened was we um, got to Karen and there was no room at the inn. And as fate would have it, we uh, couldn't get in, so we stayed in a stable around the back and George gave birth. Don't know where that came from. The curious thing is, um, some shepherds shortly arrived. And uh, now I'm just sitting around waiting for my gift, hoping for free presents. No, seriously, there was no room in the inn and so we went away. We decided to stay in um, uh, Carandos La Condes. Beautiful place, really, really nice. Um, few prices are a bit inflated there though. Quite expensive. Thing like tapas, which is normally about, I don't know, one, one euro, three, two euros, maximum three euros for a, uh, a tortilla. It's actually five euros in Carrion de los Condes. And to be fair, everyone's doing exactly the same thing, charging the same price for exactly the same thing. So it's very hard to find decent food. So we were lucky enough to bump into, well, we were lucky enough, well, smart enough to talk to people along the way get to know them, some of their stories, bond with them, have a drink with them, all that. And actually it's one of the nicest parts of it. The walking, yeah, you know, take it or leave it, depending on what you're here for. Um, but the best part of it, I think, is that downtime after you walk. So getting to the stage as, as soon as you can, and then having the whole day to just sit, think, reflect, find that peace of mind. And no matter where you are or, um, you know how busy the old burger is. There's always, you always find a time or a space where you can work, work through your thoughts. And um, yeah, I mean, most people will go for a siesta, so you've got that time then, um, which is quite long, it's like four hours. And then everyone starts to come out the woodwork around about six or seven. And it's that point where everyone starts to talk to each other, because before that, they're like zombies, no one talks to you. So, oh nah, look at you sideways like this. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hola. You get that <laughs> um, without the glasses, obviously. Anyway, so um, yeah, then they'll, they'll wander off and they do their own thing and look at you, you know, some talk to me, don't talk to me. But uh, where's the sun anyway? The sun's there, so I'm going to change over here. Uh, I'm gonna switch hands. I'm gonna switch hands. I hope this is the right way around. There we go. How's that? Oh, I bought a new souvenir, by the way. Actually, a real pilgrim. With a staff, watch this, watch this. You can see that. Yeah, um, yeah, no one wants to talk to you. And then when they all start coming out, you start chatting, you sit down, and everyone's open, nice and friendly. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, I'm grateful we did that because there was this, there was this uh, uh, older couple from Luxembourg. One was from Barcelona, the woman was from Barcelona, the man was from Luxembourg. And a Dutch, she was from Netherlands, from Netherlands, sorry, and the two children. And God, they must have been about, I don't know, six. One was six, one was about eight. They were very smart kids, and they were just got so much stamina in them. They really loved it. Um, look at the clouds, and they look beautiful. Well, anyway, we were sat in a square. Joy was literally dying. Honestly, it was really hard for her, that it was so hot. We'd walked 26 kilometers. She didn't have a break. She didn't have anything to eat. Um, she didn't tend to her blisters the way I said. She basically didn't do anything I told her to. But, you know, she's one of those people that has to learn for her. Time, life. one hour, 46 minutes, 44 seconds. Distance, seven kilometers. Pace, 15 minutes, 14 seconds per kilometer. Split, pace, 26 minutes, 36 seconds per kilometer. There you go, thank you. Um, yeah, so um, now she's learning, and not that she's learning to listen to me, but she's learning by herself what she needs to do, and I guess that's her, her thing. But anyway, we were looking shattered, sat down in the square. We were too late. Most of the burgers were full. Um, and we thought, you know what? Let's just rest a while. But we found these, these people that we spoke to in the previous old burger. And they said, oh, we found a really nice hostel around the corner. Really well equipped, very nice to the... And you know, the most exciting thing was, they had a fan. Oh, can you imagine? I ran to this place. Anyway, they took us to it. Joy waited in the square. I think, uh, I think she had no fight left in her. I actually thought she was going to give up, but she didn't. 
Um, anyway, so we stayed a whole day in Carrion de las Condes. We went down by the river, we took a picnic, and we just lay in the river by the river. I jumped in. There's a video coming up of that soon. Um, and I did a workout, my 30 minute workout. Um, and then we went for ice cream and a few glasses of vino tinto. I believe one euro fifty for a glass of wine. Can you imagine? So I had a few. And you know the wine here, there's no chemicals or anything in it, so you get you don't get a headache. I drank more or less a bottle of wine yesterday, and I do not. I'm I don't even feel like I've had even one drink. Just goes to show, hey, what we're drinking back at home. This wine's straight from the farm. Anyway, so. That was our day in Carrion de la Condes. And this morning, what we were going to do, we were going to cheat a little bit. Because we were looking at our options and there was a horse-drawn carriage that takes you out of, uh, there's some flowers, see. Out of Carrion de las Condes to the, the next stage, 17 kilometers. And we thought, let's do that. And then we walked to Shargan and then, because we got to be in Lyon tomorrow for Beryl. She arrives tomorrow night. Anyway, the horse-drawn carriage won't go unless there's 10 minimum people and there's only us two so we didn't go so we'd wasted about three hours walking waiting for this carriage now here we are walking and it's around 11 o'clock uh, in the afternoon so we're going to be walking at high to high noon and high to mid afternoon but it's a very cool 21 degrees there's a light breeze there's plenty of shade so i'm thinking we're going to do another 25 kilometers today joy it's not really in for that idea just yet, but when we get to the end of where we're getting to, I'm going to say, come on, let's do another five kilometers, because there is a really nice old burgay um, I want to stay in uh, at Ledigos, which is just after where we're going now. And then it's a short walk to Shargon tomorrow, and then we'll meet Beryl, who doesn't arrive till the afternoon. Um, so yeah, that's the update of where we're up to. So the horse-drawn carriage ride, um, would have been a great idea and I've seen videos of it and it's a hoot if you know if you're thinking of that so just bear in mind if you're in Carrion de la Condes um, consider taking a 17 kilometer ride on a horse-drawn carriage you know treat yourself because you know it's an experience that we didn't have <laughs> but I could appreciate it uh, anyway I need to switch this off my arm is hurting but uh, my next video, I'm going to try and find some time where I can... God, the flies got your nose! Um, find some time where I can... Uh, uh, I don't know, some ideas floating around in my head, some thoughts that, um, you know, having all this space to think about it, um, I'd like to share. So, tune in. Buen